the Black Beast of Exmoor. Spotted around the regions of Devon and Somerset, residing in the fields of Exmoor, it appears that the United Kingdom has a large phantom cat roaming the countryside, known as the Black Beast of Exmoor. According to eyewitness accounts, the Black Beast of Exmoor has often been viewed in the distance roaming fields and entering areas of dense livestock. In fact, the first ever sighting of the creature first appeared back in the early 1970s, with many claiming that the creature was responsible for a number of livestock mutilations throughout the region. It would not be until 1983, however, for people to take notice of its violent tendencies. According to the written account of a South Moulton farmer, he claimed that the creature had come into the region and killed more than 100 of his sheep, all of which were found with violent throat injuries consistent with that of a large cat. This would eventually lead to a full-on investigation and report from the British Big Cat Society that claimed that between the 1960s and 1970s, there had been evidence that several cougars and black leopards had been released from private collections after a law had been passed that made it illegal for anyone in the region to own large cats or private captivity outside of zoos. This led to the investigation taking a number of consistent reports from eyewitnesses claiming to see large cats with a coloration range of black, tan and dark grey all throughout the region. This would then lead to the climactic realisation of large cats hidden in the area after the British Big Cat Society and covered the skull of a large puma nearby one of the sighted regions. Unfortunately, skeptics argued that the findings were merely nonsensical as large cats have a lifespan of 12 to 15 years, completely ignoring the possibility of a small group reproducing in the region, leading to the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs to state that based on the evidence, Defra does not believe that there are big cats living in the wild in England. Still, despite these claims, stories of the Black Beast of Exmoor continue to this day, leading to a number of issues with tourism as visitors are warned of the terrifyingly large cats roaming the countryside. The Lady in the White Ghost Described by locals as being the most popular and frequently sighted ghost from across the country is that of the Lady in White. According to the legend surrounding the Lady in White, she appears to be a female ghost dressed completely in a white robe with long black hair that travels down the length of her back. Though there have been a number of sightings of the Lady in White ghost across the Philippines, there is one that stands out the most as the most commonly told story surrounding the legend of the ghost and its behaviours. According to the urban legend, the spirit of the lady in white belonged to a long-haired woman of whom was wearing a white dress on her way to a wedding. Suddenly, as she was driving along Ballet Drive, her car began shaking and she crashed at a high speed, causing her to perish instantly. This has caused her spirit to be trapped in this area, in a perpetual state of attempting to get to her wedding in time. This has left many taxi drivers scared as it has been told amongst the drivers not to pick up anyone alongside Ballet Drive at night as it is usually the lady in white of whom will enter the backseat of the taxi and take on a more disgusting form, a form that has left many taxi drivers running from the car and abandoning their taxis. Though this is only one instance and tale of the elusive Lady in White, the truth surrounding the legend appears to be all the more frightening. It appears that not only are there several cases of these strange sightings all across the country with many different origin stories of women with tragic tales, but that many different spirits of the same form appear all across the world in many different countries, completely isolated from the myth all across time. This has led many to believe that a lady in white ghost can appear from almost anyone and will usually only take form when a woman undergoes a tragic event while remaining pure of heart. The Legends of Giants There has been increasing rumours in recent years surrounding that of the creation of the giant pyramids of Giza and the builders having been giants. Back in 820 AD, the neighbouring ruler to Egypt at the time, the Sultan El Rashid Al Mamun, made several attempts to open the Great Pyramid and so contacted a number of experts to better understand the site, to which he was told that the structure had been built by giants 
of whom were referred to as the Shedi, which roughly translated to superhuman beings, and that within these pyramids they had stored a great treasure beyond the knowledge of man. It is due to these writings and the sheer magnitude of the pyramids that many believe it is possible that an ancient race of giants constructed the massive structures. Their Strange Creation Myth One of the biggest mysteries of the ancient Sumerian culture appears to be that of the inspiration and tale of their mysterious creation myth that has led to the formation of a number of ancient alien conspiracy groups to have formed in recent years after these ancient scriptures have been accurately uncovered and translated. The reason for the formation of these groups is due to the fact that there appears to be overwhelming truth that an advanced extraterrestrial species made contact with the ancient Sumerian civilization and helped to intervene and manipulate their evolution. According to the ancient Sumerians, their oldest scriptures tell of the earth being inhabited by human-like gods that had come from the stars referred to as the Anunnaki. These Anunnaki made attempts to make the world habitable and quickly began to toil the soil and mine the world for minerals that could be used. After a while, the gods referred that their labour was too great and refused to have to work at such an impossible task on their own. This led to one of the gods proposing to create human beings that could be made in their likeness using the body of another god of whom they could force to work to get the minerals and toil the ground. Originally, the humans that had been created were unable to reproduce and have children as the gods were fearful of them multiplying. However, this quickly changed after two gods granted humans the ability to reproduce, allowing them to also leave the Eden they inhabited, a land that is translated to mean a flat terrain, and quickly went throughout the world. This angered one of the gods, leading to a massive conflict to which one of the gods became the enemy of man, and the other became the ruler of man and allowed them to be fruitful and multiply over the world. These terms of modifications, creation and the formation of an Eden have left many wondering instead that perhaps these ancient biblically similar accounts are evidence of aliens having genetically created and modified humans as a slave labour force only to be given equal rights and abilities that have slowly evolved. The Bazavi Crater Back in 2009, a team of scientists that joined together from around the world journeyed out to Mount Basavi and searched for the Basavi Crater while filming a BBC documentary known as The Lost Land of the Volcano. Mount Basavi was once an active volcano roughly 200,000 years ago, but due to studies and current information, is now regarded as an extinct volcano with no evidence of eruption to occur anytime soon for the next million years. Because of this, the volcano's cone had collapsed thousands of years ago and led to the formation of the Basavi Crater, an isolated area in which many strange and undiscovered species now reside in. This led to the researchers, after an agonizing expedition of tearing through the dense jungles of Papua New Guinea, to discover more than 16 different species of frogs, three species of fish, many different insects, spiders and bats, as well as one strange discovery that would go on to confirm many of the cryptid claims coming from the region. In previous years, many had claimed to have encountered rats the size of dogs, capable of attacking people and eating small children when left alone. Many such claims had often been disregarded as nothing more than cryptid sightings, but were confirmed as a new species of giant rat during the expedition after rats more than three feet in length were discovered throughout the area. This has left many wondering if many of the other strange claims of large animals are true, such as that of birds the size of people and strange lizards the size of cars. The Vault of Padmanabhaswami Though many might argue that the Vault of Padmanabhaswami might not fit the conventional definition of a time capsule, it still proves to be one of the oldest untouched and unopened collections of the ancient past. Located in Thiruvannathapuram, Karolta, India, is a temple so rich in treasure that it has sparked a long and never-ending debate as to who the treasure should go to and what the purpose the money should serve. During the opening of the main vaults of the temple that yielded more than 18 billion US dollars worth of gathered gold, treasures and artifacts in inventory. This meant 
that the last vault to be opened in the temple would see even more riches to be used as the people saw fit. Interestingly enough, the last vault was not regarded as the riches of the temple, but rather that of the riches of the gods that it was dedicated to. This left many wondering what was the correct and sacred way to handle this treasure and when the vault should be opened. This led a wide variety of groups to petition the government in order to prevent the vault front from being opened and arguing that leaving the vault closed with the riches in their place is the only sacred way of handling the matter. After several petitions from key figureheads, archaeologists and even the priests that worked at the temple of preventing the main vault from ever being opened, along with several failed attempts to open the large stone doorways, it appears that the government conceded and have deemed the area to never be opened for the foreseeable future.